Hi everyone, welcome to the Ruby League History Channel. Tonight's video is going to be the second episode of me forgotten Betfred Super League Ground Series. First episode I did Wilderspool, the former home of Warrington and Tenez. I'm going to be doing another Super League Ground which has previously hosted Rugby League and that particular club has moved on to a new stadium. But tonight I'm going to be talking about their former home ground. And that ground is Knowsley Road, the former home of St Ellen's. St Ellen's played at this ground between 1890 to 1910. Their first ever match that they played at the ground was in 1890 and it was a win over Manchester Rangers. St Ellen's had been founded in 1873 but it wasn't until 1890 that they first played at the ground. Throughout Knowsley Road's history, the ground had renovations like a lot of other places did uh, some of the renovations that took place were in 1920 a new pavilion was opened and then in 1965 floodlights were installed for the first time you also had the e Eccleston Cop was built in 1951 there 1958 another new grandstand was opened at a cost of 30,000 pounds and even in 1961 the club got new metal goalposts because Previously to that, they used to play with wooden goalposts and they got damaged during a storm. The ground consisted of four stands though. The family stand, the popular stand, the Dunriding Lane end and the Eddington end. The official capacity of Knowsley Road was 17,500 people but of course, going back throughout history and back in the old days, attendances were a lot different. Um, there wasn't safety like there is today there wasn't all seater stadiums so obviously lots of clubs back then got big attendance numbers and Knowsley Road's biggest ever attendance for a match was in 1949 Boxing Day 1949 when they played against Wigan and that was in front of 35,695 people the ground hosted a lot of rugby league matches over the years which were talked about in folklore but possibly one that I remember quite well and a lot of St Ellen's fans out there would remember would be the wide to west try in the 2000 playoff series the opponents in that match were Bradford and with no time left on the clock the siren actually went in the background Bradford were up 11 points to 10 this was the first week of the playoffs and St Ellen's threw the ball around and it went from one end of the field to the other, one side of the pitch to the other. And then the ball went out to West who was playing on the wing for St Ellen's. And as Eddie Hemmings said in the commentary, it went wide to West. He beat two players. He threw the ball on the inside to Chris Joint. And Chris Joint raced away to score the match winning try. Which got St Ellen's a 16-11 to 11 victory in the first week of the playoffs. In 2007, St Ellen's announced that they were looking to build a new ground, which would later become the Totally Wicked Stadium, also known as Langtree Park. Um, those plans were put on hold temporarily, but then it was officially rubber stamped that they were going to be moving to a new ground. And the final ever match to be played at the ground by St Ellen's was on the 24th of September 2010 against Huddersfield. In that match, St Ellen's won the game 42 points to 22 over Huddersfield and club legend Kieran Cunningham got the final ever try at Knowsley Road, which was quite fitting. The ground was finally demolished in 2011, but in the later years as well, as, long, as, as well as St Ellen's playing there, St Helens Town, the football club, also played there between 2002 and 2010. The ground was later converted into a housing estate and some of the players that played for St Ellen's, the area where Knowsley Road stood and where the housing estate was built, those roads were named after those St Ellen's players such as New Love Avenue, Wellens Walk, Schoolthorpe Close, Coslet Drive and Cunningham Cars. Along with Houston Super League matches and back in the old days with the Rugby Football League Championship. Knowsley Road also hosted international games 
It hosted 29 tour matches between 1907 to 2002. And it hosted 10 test matches between 1914 to 2006. So that is my video tonight on Nosley Road, the former home of St Ellen's. The ground had some great matches. I'm pretty sure a lot of St Ellen's fans have got some great memories of the game. And it's a, it's a ground that would have gone down through the generations. I'm pretty sure where every generation's got their story. If you've got a story about Nosley Road or you've got some good memories about the ground, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know which ground you would like me to do next. There's quite a few former Super League grounds out there or, or former grounds of uh, English clubs. Just let me know in that comment section. Anyways, this has been Rugby League History. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll catch us all later in the next one. Tatty bye for now.